Uh, hi folks, this is Bess and Physics for you. Today we're going to find the solution of 1D wave equation, but this time using the method of separation of variables. This is part one. As we today we're going to find out the solution, the general solution, the formula to use in solving these types of problems and in the next video we'll continue with an example all right now for 1d wave equation for example a string a guitar string if it is plucked and let it go or uh, water waves we can write the this 1d wave equation in this form the partial derivative d square u second partial derivative with respect to x equals to 1 over c square c is a constant the second partial derivative of u with respect to t and we know what's u u is a function of x and t u is a function of the displacement and time as we have seen in previous videos well, all right so u is a function of x and t but this time we want it to be in this form that is a product of two functions x is a function of x only and t is a function of time only so that's that's how this method works now in order to find the solution that is to solve to find what is uh, capital x and what is capital t now we use this equation one we uh, do the second derivative d square dx square of u but because u is equals to x t we put it here so this becomes d square of x t let's say x t when we say x means the function x and t means the function t with respect to displacement x so what we are doing here is just we substituting in equation one so that's this d square u dx square we put it in this form and here 1 over square c square we put it back here 1 over c square d square u dt square instead of u we replace it with x t in this equation so it's now with respect to the functions x and t okay now from this equation it's as you see this is partial derivative so because it's partial derivative with respect to x then t is a constant that's why it's outside and now we get second derivative of the function x with respect to the variable x now it's no more partial derivative it's uh, the normal derivative so we have t because it's just a function now of x only on this side similarly on this side 1 over c square now partial derivative with respect to t so this time x is constant so x the function x capital x is constant multiplied by the ordinary differential second uh, derivative of t with respect to time so we change it from this format to this format all right now we want each side like to have only the same type of variables this is on this side we want only x on this side we want only t so divide both sides by x t by the function capital x and capital t so if we do that then t and t will cancel we are left with 1 over x d square x dx square on this side we again dividing by x t so x goes and we are left with 1 over c square t d square t uh, over t t square let's put the square here this time uh, okay so this is like uh, becomes an ordinary differential equation but we want to simplify so the, uh, we have <coughs> the left hand side equals to the right hand side they must be constant because they are equal 
So let's uh, this constant we call it capital C. We call it capital C. Okay. So we know that this is a function of x only, and this is a function of t only. All right, yeah. So the left hand side is d square x over dx square equal to cx. This is, let's say, equation 3. And we can just use x to mean that this is the function with respect to x to make it easier. And the right hand side is d square t with respect to time equal c square capital C t, the function t. Again, t means the function with respect to t. Now we want to solve these two equations to get x and to get t. That's what we are aiming at. To do that, now this depends upon the value c, whether it's positive, negative, or zero. And uh, the most important case actually is when c is negative. That's more, more su uh, suitable to boundary conditions in most problems. The other two are not suitable, but we will we, we look at, at that later. So the first case, the most important case is case one. C is negative. All right, we say, oh, okay, let's see equals minus k square. This ensures that c is a negative because k, k square is always positive. So c equals minus k square is a negative number. k is a real number, any real number. Okay, now we sub here in the three. So this becomes d square x with respect to x square. This must be the small x thank you so d square x over dx square equals to minus k square x by subbing here and we rearrange this it becomes bring this to this side so we get d square x over dx square plus k square x equals to zero so this is, this one is an ordinary differential equation, homogeneous differential equation that is equals to zero. And from previous videos, the solution for this is obtained by using the characteristics equation. So for this equation, the characteristic equation using the letter M is M squared because here the coefficient is one. So we, it's just M squared plus what is the coefficient of x? The, uh, k squared. So we say plus k squared. So equals to zero. So this is the characteristic equation. So there is no m because n there is nothing in the middle. So if we solve this characteristic equation, k squared comes to this side. So m is plus or minus k. Okay, right here. So m equals to plus or minus k. And as you know, the solution for this differential equation becomes x equals to constant cosine kx plus b sine kx from previous videos about the solution of homogeneous differential equations. So that's, that gives us x, what, what we need here, what we need previously, that u equals to x, capital X times capital T. Again, the same thing to find capital T, the second function. We do the same exercise, this time using equation four. So d square T with respect to time equals now minus C square K square T. It was the same thing, the constant we are using is for the negative case. That is capital C is minus K square. So we got that. Now we move this to this side so that we get an ordinary differential equation similar to what we did before. And we use the characteristic equation. This characteristic equation now is m c square, m c square plus c square k square uh, m. Uh, 
actually there is nothing here so that's it so, so this characteristic equation now is mc squared plus c squared k squared because that's minus c squared k squared when it comes to this side it becomes plus c squared k squared and we if we, we solve it m will be plus or minus ck as we did before so t then is the solution it gets the uh, equal d constant another constant cosine ckt because this is the first solution for the characteristic equation plus e another constant sine ckt so that's equation six we combine both together now to get the final general solution of this wave function in terms of x and in terms of t this is the separation of variables button so this means that u xt the displacement at any position x at any time t equals to the product of the two function x with respect to x and t with respect to t okay by substitution this is equals a cosine kx plus b sine kx which we got from five here plus the other equation with respect to t so plus d cosine ckt plus e sine ckt and this is the general solution that we could use it to solve problems of this form we look also we will look briefly at the other two cases one c is positive and one c is negative to show briefly that they are not suitable Uh, all right to continue with this uh, solution we have to briefly look at the other cases case two when c is positive i.e we say c equal to k square to ensure that uh, c is positive now again in equation three the same thing as we did before but this time we got k square instead of minus k square x so d square x dx square equal k square x rearranged so it's an ordinary differential equation equals to zero now characteristic equation as before this is m square minus k square equals zero the solution for this is if you bring the k square to the other side uh, we get m equals to plus or minus k so you notice here we have two distinct solutions real solution one is plus k and the other is not minus k whereas in the previous case when c was negative we had m equals to plus or minus k i because it was not a real number so it was a complex number since m square equals when it was plus when we move it to the other side m square equal minus k square so the solution was complex number so before it was m equal plus or minus k i whereas we have here plus or minus k so we have no complex number it's just uh, two distinct uh, uh, solutions and the solution for that then x is now in terms of the exponential function not sine and cosine so we say x equals to a constant e k x plus b e minus k x and the same thing for t but this time we have instead of k square x we have c square k square t again uh, same thing we get t equals d uh, constant e c k t plus e another constant e minus c k t now again uh, in most problems the boundary conditions are given and most uh, problems the initial velocity is zero so if the, you put t equal to zero in these equations this becomes e and this becomes d and uh, the same thing for this x at the start x is zero means this becomes one b and a and uh, th this will never satisfy the initial conditions like, like initial velocity is zero now case 3 is c equal to 0 alright so case 3 c equal to 0 
and that again by substitution in equation 3 d square x d x squared now equals to 0 and this is like a linear equation so x equals to ax plus b and similarly if you have t d square t dt square equals 0 so t equals to dt plus e these are the solutions and the same thing like for the positive case the boundary conditions are not satisfied in most uh, cases so we can make now a conclusion that the only possible solution is for the case c less than zero or negative that's the most uh, useful case as we will see in uh, examples that we will do later so the general solution is uxt equals a cosine kx plus b sine kx plus d cosine ckt plus e sine ckt thank you for watching and please subscribe